Hello and good morning, everyone. I hope you all are fit and healthy, taking all precautions from the virus. Hope I'm hoping that schools and colleges start very soon because everyone is very tired sitting at home. I myself is very tired. And I imagine even you all are eagerly waiting to just come out of the house and go to schools and colleges. Of course, you are meeting your friends outside, but uh, to meet it in college is a different thing, right? So I still miss my college days when I have to go to college uh, to meet my friends. And we have a lot of, we had a lot of fun in college. So um, I hope the schools and colleges uh, start really soon and um, the ones that are listening to me online will start listening to me in person so have good vibes let's start um, I am already on uh, the poetry part and the poetry that I have done is the world is too much with us but the ones who have not seen the poetry or not he heard the video on poetry please go back to my, the channel and my previous videos wherein I have posted a video on the whole discussion of the world is too much with us and let's move for, uh, forward today I'll be doing the question answers of the world is too much with us wherein we'll discuss uh, all the question answers uh, from the book that I have that you all are referring and also some from outside that is in general that you all can get in examinations. So without wasting time, let's go forward. So I'll just have a quick uh, recap of what we've done before. So the world is too much with us by William Wordsworth. Let's read a little bit about him he was major he was a major english romantic poet who with samuel taylor helped launch the romantic age in english literature so he was born to john wordsworth and anne cookson so i know uh, you all feel that this is out of the book but you all may get questions on the author or the poet because he's a very well-known author and poet. So maybe you all will have uh, questions on who was he born to, who was his father and mother. So, and why was he known as a romantic poet? So what, for, for answering the question of why was he known as a romantic poet, you should know what is romanticism. So romanticism is the use of creative creative imagination, focus on nature. So all of his, uh, I mean, the romance does not only connect to the husband, wife, girlfriend, and boyfriend. It also goes beyond it. And it is something that uh, a romance uh, is connected to nature. Importance of myth and symbolism. Focus on feelings and intuition. Freedom and spontaneity. Simple language. So he mostly refers to simple language so that the people can understand what he's writing. Personal experience, democracy, and liberty. Fascination with past. Now, let's see what's the poet's attitude uh, in this poetry. In this poem, Wordsworth is irritated and he's concerned that the humanity does not relate to nature is most evident. As a nature lover and advocate, he wants everybody to be able to love and appreciate it the way he does. Now, this poem is one of the many excellent sonnets that he has written. Now, what is sonnet? It is a 14 line poetic inventions written in an ambike parameter. We will, sorry, pentameter. We will know about what is this pentameter and all in the coming portion. All around him, Wordsworth saw people that were all obsessed with money and all materialistic things as nowadays everyone is actually obsessed with all materialistic things. And they're all losing power over the natural connection of nature with them. This idea is portrayed in the famous lines, getting and spending, we lay waste our cars. So we are just earning and spending, earning and spending and nothing is there in our life left. Now, this is the poetry. I'm not going to read the poetry again. Uh, you all have already done the poetry part and I've already explained you all in the previous videos so we will be moving forward also the rhyme scheme and the theme is explained in the previous videos for the ones who have not seen go back to the video and you can see we will come back to our topic that is q and a question and answers of this poem let's start with the first one 
what is the meaning of the phrase the world is too much with us this is the most important thing as we should first know what is the meaning of the title given to the poem and why it is given the world is too much with us can be interpreted as people have become too concerned with worldly material things and have the least concern for nature this means that people are now mostly connected to materialistic things and uh, all money and also we just want to earn and earn and earn money yes money is important for living and for necessities but even though we have fulfilled our necessities we still have a urge to earn more and more we say it in hindi like lalach right uh, too much of a uh, fascination for money and for all materialistic things just i have given an example before that if we have uh, iphone 10 or whatever uh, and uh, i mean we've brought that phone really new brand new and in few months the other part of the phone i mean the other version of the phone is uh, released so we are not happy with what we have we we are running behind the other one so we are not happy and satisfied with what we have only because we are running behind money and materialistic things and we have lost the connection with nature if you've seen kids today even in this age i mean in very young age they are connected to phones and devices and they're not going out and playing all those games that maybe we or our parents have played when they were young because of all these materialistic things so this is the focus of the poem wordsworth was a romantic poet who stressed on the importance of emotions and connection with nature so he had more connection with emotions rather than all the materialistic things in the world so and that is that is why he was known as a romantic poet and not romantic means in a love way for a, a human being but love for nature in fact romanticism meant a return to nature and an escape from the contamination of modern civilization so for wordsworth romantic means to have a connection or to come back to nature to give yourself and to understand now if we are in nature we will also understand what god uh, actually wants from us uh, he does not want us only to earn and earn and earn and just waste our powers as it is said in the poem but he also wants us to worship all the nature that he has made for us to worship him for it to thank him that he has given us all the nature so uh, wordsworth is just telling us the same thing wordsworth was concerned that people were becoming materialistic during his time now i imagine he was long 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 back uh, no phones and nothing was there at that time so at that time he feels that people were more uh connected with materialistic things i imagine if he was our alive right now what will he feel at this time if he would see us uh in this generation that we are connected so much to devices and technology and materialistic things and money and we've left all the connection with nature industrialization was happening thus causing people to give their hearts away now in that period industrialization was just at the urge was just starting but now it is at, at its peak so this is the time when people yes you have to earn you have to complete your necessities and be happy with what you have to be happy with what you have you do not have to run behind all the new versions of technology and all the things that are on in the market so be happy and satisfied with what you have so let's go back to the other question i'm not go back let's move forward to the other question that is what does man see little in nature according to the poet so if you all have not read the poem please go back to the poetry where i have explained i mean the previous video that i have explained the poetry uh, each line is explained in full detail with the meaning uh, you will not have any problem in writing your answers once you have seen the video of explanation so let's move forward and see little in nature what does he mean by it according to the poet man believes that there is little to gain from spending time amid nature that spending money and time to fulfill our materialistic demands i want to read the lines again the poet says man believes that there is little to gain from spending time amidst nature so nowadays people are feeling why to waste time 
going out in nature and just feeling what it is what nice trees and wow ye kitna acha hai wo kitna why to waste time in all this where and we can go and earn money right and uh, spending money and time and fulfilling we will earn money we will get more money we will buy this phone that thing that device this house that things those clothes so we are all into this including me i am not giving a lecture to you all uh, that only you all other ones i am included in this generation and yes at times for few things even i am the one who actually thinks that we need these things and those materialistic things but this is the thing that we have to break we cannot be running behind money all the time and not thinking that nature does not give us anything nature gives us the things that we require the most It gives us peace at this time when the world is in chaos okay let's go to the third question the winds that will be we are out of tune so it's a verse uh, if you go to the poem you will know this words let's see what this verse tells us the speaker appears to be standing by himself looking at the ocean so here uh, the poet is actually is standing and looking at the ocean now people who've gone to oceans and beaches uh will actually understand the feeling it is so calm and so good when you are near the ocean or at the beach right it is so much soothing to mind and we actually start forgetting all our problems and we start thinking wow what what god has made things right so here he claims that we can no longer uh, appreciate the two aspects of nature so people have to realize that that thing that god has made nature for us not for anything else the sea and the winds because we are so involved in getting and spending so we have to think at times you know what is meditation we have to sit if we are working the whole day just working 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 getting money and then spending it we need little break for ourselves right so we have to sit in meditation not in meditation just normally uh, just to pray if you do not want to pray just sit and just imagine what god has given us in the form of nature he has given us wind uh, without wind what would happen without air what would happen right without water what would happen so all of these things we really need to understand to have uh, importance in our life and also later on we need our kids our next generation to understand that and if we at this generation is not understanding that why we need all these things in the next generation they will not have all these things because if you are not worried about it and we are not thinking about it we are going to just just waste it all waste of nature and then the next generation will not be even able to look at all this so it's very important that is the main motive of this poetry making money and buying things just that life is just that at present um sorry and then the greed to make more money and to buy more things now once you start earning at the beginning you start feeling happy i can take this and that right it's it's really exciting if you work you work for yourself you work for your family and you see the happiness uh, um, at the face of your family uh, your mother your parents or your your kids or maybe your sibling if you gift them something with your salary that you earn yes i know i understand that it is so happy that the, that feeling is so good when you actually give something to someone from the money that you have earned yourself and then the happiness on the face but at the beginning it's good right it's very good but if we stop at that time and we know that this is the necessities that we need to complete so that much we will earn this much we will save and then the other sort of money we can just leave it outside and go and enjoy our life our nature right but if we just earn and spend earn and spend life is nothing more than that uh, at the end you will die with nothing only money in your bank and no people around you because you do not care for things right you just want more and more and then at present the winds are not blowing so they seem to him to be gathered in a bundle like sleeping flowers since he is standing in a place overlooking the ocean naturally the images of proteus and triton occur to him so he thinks about all 
the um, uh, history and all the people who was connected to ocean and all winds and ocean so this line and this verse tells all these things let's move forward to the fourth question and it is the sea that bears her dot 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 that means all the poetry verse we are out of time what does this verse say the speaker here tells the reader that everything in nature including the sea and the wind is gathered up in a powerful connection with which humanity is out of tune now this means that all the nature is together united but humans is out of this because humans do not care about nature they are just behind money and materialistic things humans are not experiencing nature as they should so in the previous time maybe our grandparents and great grandparents they actually enjoyed nature they hunted they went for hunting they they played outside games they they played in the mud and dirty they they made themselves dirty and you know it was so good naturally now what we are playing and finding fun is just play this game and that game and all these i've heard about pubg and all just to play all these games is fun but not to go out and play with nature right that is not called fun that's called boring for now but it is actually the real play time when you'll go out and enjoy but nobody cares nowadays so the sea and the wind are two aspects of nature and stand as representative for everything in the natural world at present the winds are not blowing so they seem to him to be gathered in a bundle and sleeping so that means he's trying to say that nature is going to be angry at us once it is angry this is the thing that is going to happen the virus that has taken place now everyone knows it is a punishment just like a punishment for us right that such a big thing has happened uh, and we have no powers to overcome it right no vaccine uh, we cannot do anything because of this virus everything is blocked because we were the ones who did not care uh, for ourselves and for nature at present the winds are blowing so they seem to him to be gathered in a bundle like sleeping flowers he says that humanity is out of tune that humans are just out of nature they are making their own world of money and materialistic things which means it is detached they are detached from nature so we all are actually detached from nature let's go to the other question who is pagan now in the poem uh, the word pagan is used and why so we will be seeing it in this answer who is who is a pagan and why does wordsworth mention him or her in the poem why does wordsworth mention pagan in the poem the poet chooses the word pagan world pagan world because they were close to nature and knew how to respect and cherish nature now the pagans are the one who actually wander from one place to another they're not actually settled down in one place in a society in a building or in a bungalow in a flat they actually wander from one place to another experiencing all the nature and that is why he's used pagan in the story i mean in the poem and they were the ones who actually cherish cherish nature because they live in nature the poet would rather be a pagan who worships an outdated religion now he said that he wanted the poet actually wants to be a pagan and he does not want to be amongst us uh, in a good society or in a flat they he people will not want to be pagans no one wants to be pagans why we will just yahan se wahan kyu jaye why we when we can settle down at one place with a good house with family why will we just move around here and there in forests right but the poet wants to explain that a, even a pagan life is better than the ones who are living in bungalows right at least they are happy with what they have people living in bungalows are still not happy after earning so much the poet would rather be a pagan who worships an outdated religion so that when he gazes out on the ocean he might feel less sad so he wants to be a pagan because one now he is standing in front of the ocean he is wondering that we have not experienced all this so many people are just behind money and they're not experiencing all this nature so if i would be a pagan i would be at my fullest 
he would see wild mythological gods like Proteus. So he's thinking about all the historical gods, just I said in the previous answer, who can take many shapes and Triton who looks like a merman, like a, it's known as a mermaid and a merman. So these two things, these two names are taken because he's imagining about them. The next one is what powers is the poet referring to when he says, Yes. What powers is the poet referring to when he says, we lay waste our powers? Why is he saying that we are wasting our powers? Wordsworth sees people are obsessed with money and man-made objects, materialistic things. In the line, we waste our powers means that these people can no longer identify the natural world. So we are no longer into nature or we are no longer uh, into a natural world. We are only behind materialistic world. The poet believes that we have given our hearts the center of ourselves in exchange for money and materialistic wealth. It is really true. We have actually given out our heart the main purpose of living to money and materialistic things. Um, it is actually a part of our life. Earning money and having all the things, all necessities is just a part of our life. And there is much more life after that, right? But still, we have made the whole life as only one thing, one purpose to earn and to spend. According to Wordsworth, with what are we out of tune? According to Wordsworth, with the increasing pursuit of materialistic things, we fail to appreciate nature around us. Very often we destroy it to fulfill our desires, which leads to disharmony between us and nature as we are um, all cutting down trees, forests, for our purpose to build buildings and materialistic things for us. We are just cutting out all nature and we're destroying it. Next thing, what does the phrase late and soon mean? Now, the phrase late and soon means materialism has been a problem in the past and is a problem right now and it will be a problem in the future if we do not work in harmony with nature. Now, if we do not work according to nature, we are going to face these problems that we are at now, right now, because of the virus facing or maybe in the, in the future world will face because we are not respecting nature. Why does a poet, poet choose to be a pagan? Now here is, there it was why the word pagan is used. Now why he wants to be a pagan? Now he wants to be a pagan because he wants to worship nature rather than worshipping the materialistic things. He believes that doing so, he might feel less saddened when he looks at the ocean. As he's saddened in the poetry, he does not want to be saddened like that. And that's why he wants to see the mythological gods, all those gods that is Proteus and Triton um, uh, that are written in history. So I hope I have covered almost uh, all of the questions and there are a few more questions uh, in the book that you all can refer to uh, the book that i've already shown you all for the ones who have who are seeing these this video for the first time or the second time uh, go back to the previous videos where i've shown which book you'll have to refer for optional english wherein there are poetries and the things that i've already covered the world is too much with us this is the name of the poetry uh, and the book that I'm referring to is the optional English book. The poster, that means the pa first page uh, of the book is shown in the previous videos. Uh, I hope you all understood all the question answers. This will make your, um, your examination question answers easy. How to put the poetry uh, lines into the question answers is already explained. Hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe to the channel and to see more videos on it thank you so much everyone take care